This is Mission Control Houston. The Expedition 30 crew on board the International Space Station has devoted most of its attention to maintenance activities today with an eye toward Wednesday evening's delivery of more than seven tons of supplies coming on board a European cargo ship. The automated transfer vehicle number three, the Eduardo Amaldi, has been closing in on the station since its launch from French Guiana last Thursday. The docking to the space station is scheduled to take place at 5.33 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday. The NASA TV coverage of that docking will get started at 4.45. Following this morning's daily planning conference, three of the members of the crew spent most of their morning on a Soyuz emergency egress drill. Flight engineers Oleg Kononenko, Andrei Kalpers, and Don Pettit we're practicing the steps that they would take if they had to make an emergency departure from the space station. Of course, they're due to remain on orbit until July. After they had lunch, Kononenko set up the relaxatia experiment. He conducted some observations of chemical luminescent reactions in the atmosphere and later set up the equipment that he will use to open the hatches on the ATV after its arrival. Andre Kalpers had uh, time spent today in operations with air sample monitoring, and then he spent his afternoon unpacking the permanent multi-purpose module, the storage uh, compartment on board the space station. Kalpers was clearing room in the PMM for items that are going to be delivered on board the ATV. Don Pettit joined Commander Dan Burbank routing cables inside the Destiny Laboratory for the new high-rate communication system, which will add additional voice and video channels, as well as uh, faster communication speeds to improve communications between the space station and the ground. Anatoly Ivanishin spent a good portion of his day, uh, time throughout the day, packing items for disposal inside the Progress vehicle that's docked to the space station. He also joined Anton Shkaparov for Russian experiment operations in which they are testing out some principles and methods of possible leak control on board the space station in the future. Shkaparov occupied most of the rest of his day shooting scenes for a Russian documentary about life on board the station. The crew members will be going to bed at their regular time, but they have a late wake-up call coming on Wednesday morning. Uh, they'll be getting up late in order to uh, facilitate their participation in the operations of the rendezvous and docking of the automated transfer vehicle, which is docking to the International Space Station at 5.33 p.m. Houston time on Wednesday afternoon.